Will COVID-19 be the defining moment in the fight against climate change? We've had a glimpse of a world with clean air. The lockdown emptied the roads and cleared the skies. But as economies open up, global emissions have already bounced back to just 5% below pre-pandemic levels. We need a green recovery. Calls are growing from businesses, policymakers, and across society that we must build back better. Just 9% of people want life to go back to how it was before. As president of the UN COP26 Climate Summit and hosts of the G7 next year, the UK is uniquely positioned to lead international efforts to seize the opportunity for an investment-led green recovery. Here in the UK and around the world, transport is on the front line. Transport is responsible for a quarter of global CO2 emissions. And the vast majority of those are from road transport. More worryingly still, transport emissions are on the increase with improvements in vehicle efficiency more than offset by traffic growth. Rising demand for car and van travel is the central reason why UK emissions remain stubbornly high. And road transport is the biggest contributor to air pollution, which is responsible for some 40,000 early deaths every year here in the UK. Later this year, the government will publish its transport decarbonisation plan. Decisions about where we work, how we purchase our goods, which car we buy, how we travel, or whether we even choose to travel at all, will be critical in determining whether or not we are able to bring emissions down onto a safe trajectory. 2020 must be the moment for a reset in road transport decarbonisation. <laughs>